What's up, Culinary 2? Man, I miss you guys. Hope y'all had a great week last week. Only had the one video. I allowed y'all to get caught up on your work, which we'll get to in a second. But, man, I'm starting to miss you guys. I'm having you into my class. Hey, hey, you. Be quiet over there. Yeah. All right, and the rest of you, sit down, okay? I'm going over my notes. Just wanted to make it feel a little more like class. But it's a good time. Man, I miss seeing y'all. But, you know, this too shall pass. And hopefully... Uh, I'll get to see y'all before too long. If not, you know, this is the way things are. But you know what? I'm going to do my best with what we got and all like that. So um, it's a great day, and hopefully you're enjoying it as well. A couple things I need to go over. Number one, attendance. Hopefully you've gotten a hint by now that all you have to do with me is just let me know you're there. You know, just say, here, what's up, chef, like uh, some of you do. Or what's, you know, whatever the case may be, just let me know that you're there, okay? So that way I can mark you off. We are doing attendance and stuff of like that. Remember, when we get to the end of the nine weeks, you know, and I start thinking about your grade and you're sitting there begging me for whatever the reason is because you haven't done your work, I'm going to look at your attendance. And if you consistently did not say anything to me and you're just kind of out there, it's going to be hard to get a lot of grace and mercy to people who didn't show up, all right? So please get on that and stuff like that. Just check in. You have probably already received one of my emails that I send at the end of every day saying, hey, I didn't see you today. All right. That's to wake you up and then remind you to get in touch with me. Okay. Assignment. Get caught up. Okay. Last week, I only gave you the one assignment and then I gave you the rest of the week to work on everything else. Okay. So yeah, that was your chance to get caught up on whatever you, uh, you need to do. Okay. Get caught up on my work. Don't, just because Chef Abbott's class is probably one of the easier ones that you have currently, don't let it fall by the wayside and then later on down the road, you got to play catch up, okay? Um, actually, it takes some time to learn this stuff. I'm not doing this stuff for my health. I mean, if I wanted to give you all busy work, I could have easily done that with a book because you can actually get the book online and I could just start giving you all chapters. I'm giving you this stuff because I find it interesting and I hope you do too. So, you know, take a couple more minutes from your Facebooking, your Instagramming, your tweeting and twacking, your ticking and talking, your uh, slapping and, you know, whatever the case may be. You know, take a couple minutes and actually learn something. Don't just wait for somebody to do the assignment and then they email it to you and you copy and paste and put in a couple words that you add to it, if you even do that much, and you're done. All right? Take some time and actually learn this stuff. Some of this stuff is very interesting. Some of this stuff you may even run into down the road, and that is why I want to present it. All right? Good. So today's lesson is I want to talk about Alaska. Alaska, up in the Great White North over there, uh, just directly next to Canada and stuff like that. Um, a lot of good food, a lot of interesting food, because if you remember, if you know anything from history, um, there are indigenous people there who are called the Eskimos, much like the Native American Indians here in the United States. Um, you had Eskimos up there, long, not long time of um, just doing the, the way they did things, the way they eat and things like that, you see in their cuisine. And there's a couple things I just want to point out. Number one, I want to point out their unique food, yak and reindeer. You're probably sitting there going, oh my God, they eat right there. Well, guess what? Santa ain't having these ones to go flying because they are on the menu for dinner, okay? Much like here in Florida, there's whitetail deer, deer season where you can hunt and stuff like that. They also have hunt season for reindeer as well as yaks. So, uh, very fatty food because of their diets. So, therefore, they eat a lot of that um during those times and seasons when you can actually go and hunt it okay now this is where things get a little more interesting other foods first off berries berries go grow wild up there you got to think most of alaska is uninhabited meaning people don't live there except maybe eskimos they don't have big old cities and stuff like that so berries grow wild up there so one of the biggest things they got going for them up there is ice creams and ice creams have fresh berries and things like that very delicious parfaits are very big up there but also i want to point out smoked seafood mind you back in the day they didn't always have refrigerators and freezers to freeze stuff so what you do was you smoked it to last food for long periods of time the king of this exported is um smoked salmon Smoked salmon from um, Alaska is one of their top things, okay? If you read anything about their food, you'll read about smoked salmon. So this is something that I just want you to keep in mind, that they smoke a lot of food to last for longer periods of 
time, okay? So this is just a couple things I would like to point out to you as you're going through your questions and stuff like that. You know, take your time, read these questions, and uh, get a lot of stuff figured out. Um, and again, learning about different parts of the country. Many of you have been stuck here in the United in, in Florida, and all you know is our way of cooking. And guess what? It's not the only way way that is why there's so many other places that's why i'm taking this time so you know read it look at it a couple things attendance get on it assignments get caught up don't let it bite you in the butt and again alaska talking about some unique foods yak and reindeer hunting for certain types of seasons and berries and smoked seafood mainly the key one is smoked salmon so keep all that in mind do the questions have a great day and i'll see you later this week